Good morning, everybody. So we're just doing our quick uh, inflation checks. We're running 38.5 PSI. Uh, this is what I ran last time I came out here to the uh, off-road part. And I tell you what, it was great. It looks like there's some people out there on the path. I want to make sure that I don't... Uh, want to make sure that I don't piss anybody off and run anybody over. Yeah, this is the first weekend I've had off since the 28th of January. Honestly, my first weekend off. Um, so I'm looking forward to this. Let's get out shred. Get nice and dirty. So we're going to go relocate and... Um, Get set up at our new spot. This is where we're riding over here. Check that out. Beautiful sunrise this morning. See Haleakala way up there. Just a beautiful day. So I'm going to capitalize on my first day off. Alrighty, so we had a slight delay. Uh, had to run out and find a bathroom. And, uh, not exactly a lot of those around here. It is a beautiful day. Got my sunscreen on. We're getting ready to go shred. I'm gonna get out of your ear. Let's go run around the track here. Let's see what uh, see what we can find. See if we can find some cool stuff. I'm gonna work on uh, filming and writing, so uh, I can hopefully kind of get that a little bit better absolutely beautiful out here let's go have some fun so hopefully you guys can tell just how steep this little hill is it's it doesn't seem like it's that bad but it is look I'm full on the brakes and rolling backwards because well I'm fat but hopefully you guys don't have that problem But it is quite capable of going through stuff like this. I don't know when my mic's going to get out of range. So I think I'll call it good and head back. Probably help if I turn the board on, huh? There we go. So I've got it adjusted right now to where most of my weight is on my back foot, which is kind of where you need it to be. Give you a little example of that. Oh. Yep, it is super bumpy. We are definitely out road, off road here. Hopefully that this shot comes out as cool as it looks in my head. You guys got a great view. Not going too fast, just nice and slow and steady. You know, can't really see. A whole lot because of the grass so I'm just trying to feel my way Oof. there we go we have a little bit more fun now much more open area Ugh. yep so for those of you that are curious we out here in the middle of kind of sort of the middle of nowhere We'll be back. Don't have my straps overly tight, by the way. Just kind of, just, just enough to keep me on the board. Not enough that I can't bail. And I tell you what, you definitely need these straps for stuff like this. This is such a beautiful place. Really, really is. I don't know if you guys can still or not. If so. Yep. Let's get her flipped around and head on back. So now you guys will get a uh, a better perspective for just how steep this this hill actually is it's hard to tell um, from how I've got the camera mounted
That was me, not the board. <laughs> Whew, I've got so much to learn riding off-road. But hopefully this gives you guys a little perspective for how steep this is, because uh, it is a lot steeper than it looks. And I'm barely even cracking the throttle on this thing. But enough about me. Let's go check out the area. I'm going to ride some more. See you. Anyway, I hope y'all are getting a good view of this. Check it out. This is what I was talking about, putting your weight back. You want your weight over the traction. You want your front foot light. And the reason that you want that is because you want to let these channel trucks do all the work for you. This thing is not the most maneuverable uh, because of the truck setup. However, if you just lightly goose the throttle, and then give it a good hard kick with your left foot. Oh shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna make that. Again, that's me, not the board. Uh, trying to avoid gouging out the gear drives too bad. There we go, that should be fine. Yeah, A-Stack, you guys build a heck of a board, but I think y'all already know that. I wish I could have made E-Skate Con, unfortunately. Uh, We've had a huge project up there we've been working on. We just finally closed that out. And I'm getting ready to uh, head back to Abu Dhabi. And I'm kind of looking forward to that. Hawaii is amazing, but the skate trails in Abu Dhabi, bike trails in Abu Dhabi, unbelievable. See that? Look at that, guys. That could have been me. So yeah, there's some stuff that I'm sure I could take on the board. And in fact, I actually took that the last time I came out here. Um, but I just don't want to. Just because I have health insurance doesn't mean I want to use it. Snap, that's a big hill. So it's kind of a balance between speed, controllability, and um, you got to keep your momentum to get over the rocks. Oh, shit. Oh, there we go. Got to keep your momentum going without stopping also. Oh, there we go. That was some kind of soft, powdery type of dirt, so I was kind of worried about losing traction there. And my worries were slightly founded and slightly unfounded. I don't know what's down this way. I've never been this way. This is all new to me. This is the only second time I've been on this trail. Whoop. This is awesome. Yeah, I think I should turn around down here. But this will be a great example of how how nice of a steep hill this thing can climb. I mean, seriously, look at that. Hard to tell. Give you a little vantage, maybe you can tell that way. All right, so maybe it'd be better if I just show you. So I'm gonna ride down it, and then I'm gonna turn around and ride back up. Such up over here. Now, I'm going to deliberately take a line that goes across the straightest, or I'm sorry, the, uh, the steepest part of this. This is one of those things that you really have to see it to understand just how powerful this board really is. Remember, keep your, keep your weight on your back. I'm going to be on the brakes most of the way down this hill. Hopefully you guys can see how, how quickly I'm dropping below that horizon. So I'm going to turn around here and I'm going to take a photo so you guys can get a little perspective. So I'm on 4x zoom in this photo. If that gives you any idea how far back I am. It's 
not a super, super huge trail, but it is a surprisingly challenging trail. Let's hope the brakes hold. And of course they don't. Well, that's a hobby wing thing, guys. Just for the record, that's not an ace deck thing. There we go. All right, so I'm gonna take my arc and come over and I think I'm gonna take that line. Hopefully you guys get a, a little perspective of just how steep it is. I'm in S mode right now. I'm not messing with no S plus. I don't really see the need. Dang. I know, that's steep. Anyway. Give you another little uh, overhead view here. Tell you what, I'm gonna miss this vibrancy of the land here. I'm gonna miss the Ina. All right, well, let's do some more skating. Peace. All right, guys, so we're gonna give you another uh, example. This, uh, this hill may not look that steep on this camera because it's a 155 degree wide angle. Okay. So that is my first official fucking complaint about this board. Uh, Hobby Wing does not allow you to lock the brakes completely. I literally just rolled down a hill and bailed. So we're going to hopefully, <laughs> hopefully get it at a better angle here. All right, let's do this. All right, there we go. Give it a little gas. I'm an S plus now just because I'm trying it for the first time. As you can see, I'm not going all that fast. I could go faster, but I don't really want to. Everybody know your limits. This is mine. Woo, look at that. I did it, made it. Almost busted my butt, but I didn't. So, we're gonna snap a photo. Whew. Yeah. Just to show you how far back we really are. There's 4X zoom. And here's a 1X. All right, so now I'm gonna ride down on the brakes. And again, I just want you guys to understand, it's not necessarily an ace deck thing. This is a, a hobby wing thing. Oh. So, a little lighter on the brakes. Yeah, you know what? I'm not riding down this. I'll let the board rock. I need a break, my feet are killing me. It's not the board, <laughs> it's me. Just for the record. Whew. But hopefully you guys get a little perspective of how steep this damn hill is. And you can see here, right, I'm full on the brakes right now. And just under the, its own weight, it doesn't lock up. That's a hobby wing thing. I really hope that ASTEC goes with a VESC because uh, even with the braking at 100%, it does, it does that. Whew. Whew. I need some water. Take a little break. I'm actually tired. I'm only about a mile and a half into this ride and uh, believe it or not, off-road riding like this It'll take it out of you a little bit. So, whoop. 
I'm out. Now I gotta go back up the hill. Ugh. All righty, guys. So here we are back at the car. Whew, this thing is, you know what? I'm gonna grab a towel and wipe this thing down a little bit. Woo. For those of you guys wondering, oh, yeah, I'm sweaty, I'm funky, and I had fun, 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 fun. So let's give it a little wipe down before we put it back in the car, shall we? Man, everything took a beating today. I even got the motors. Holy shit. Yeah. That trail is no joke if you're pushing it and you're not careful. Yeah, it's just, this board is incredible. What, what it's capable of is, is beyond what I'm capable of at the moment. But guys, this is, whew. I don't even know how to say. Like I'm at a loss for words. Yeah, man. Bring in a little closer. Show you some of the battle scars. Whew. I'm tired. I'm really tired. Oh, look at that. Got some new battle scars. Pretty much everywhere now. <laughs> I was trying to trying to keep it from getting beat up too much, but uh, well, what's the point of having a board if you don't use it? This is Byron. I'm freaking exhausted. Y'all have a great rest of your day.